Hello everybody, welcome back to the trilogy of... Um, well, I don't really know the common theme, but our uh, fabulous painter. This is part two, being her darkest friend. So, part one, in case you've missed it. Um, at the end of the line, we made a probably great painting, and the Professor Seligman assaulted us. We smacked his our own painting in his face and left. Anyway. Start a new game. Cheers. Being chiseling away with words appearing on the screen. Sculpture of a person. Sculpture of a woman. And there she is, Selena. Pitch black, can't see anything. Is this one of our nightmares, you think? Mm. Also, this is made in Unity, no longer an adventure game language thingamajig. Red lights, it's gonna be eyes, you just know it. Those aren't lights, no, no, they aren't. Yes, eyes. Hmm. Are friend from the library. She's not answering. But she's looking at me pleadingly. Chisel away! That's not like her. He's afraid. Tamako, what are you afraid of? If I interpret her gestures correctly, it's me. She longs for a place of comfort and safety to her. How the hell do you? That with gestures. I can figure out a few ways, I suppose. Hmm. Right, camera. Tell me what am I supposed to do with it? Um, cook a three-star meal. Go. No, nothing. Or we take a picture of something for you. What do you want me to photograph? Where? Tomoko, where are you? Did you send me here? I can't move. These empty easels, they've got me surrounded. But they're just easels. Just give them a nudge or something. They're blocking my way. Peter? Oh yeah, the uh, guy we gave our camera to. Help me. Say the word tang or something like that. Eels can't be moved. All right. Well, now I know you tried. They're standing unmovable and have got me surrounded. And there's Port of Seligman again. Yeah. Oh, now we click and drag. Okay. Peter won't get to the camera this time. Well, I, I wouldn't give him. Wouldn't have given it to it the first time. Easel turned translucent. Okay. But I still can't move. Well, we probably have to get rid of all of them. Should probably have the other two as well. No. Smart, huh? I think the ladder got a bit longer here as well. Maybe not. That was the last easel. I'm free. I only have to photograph something for Tomoko. It should be something that 
convey safety and comfort or maybe something familiar. I wonder if Peter could help me. Yeah, you could, you could move and then I could photograph the spot she used to occupy. Those were her books, if I'm not mistaken, but apparently I can't photograph them. Hey, Peter. But he's staring at the paintings with a crazed look. I think her emptiness reminds him of his own artistic failure. There's a glint in his eyes. It's pure lust to kill. If he could, he'd kill somebody. Somebody made his life a living hell in the past. Seligman? Don't want to take a picture without a reason. Oh, that's a fine looking painting. Is there a reason to photograph Seligman's portrait? I don't know what it is. I do. He wants to kill something. Give me a picture of him. Let's get rid of his easel as well. This isn't going to work. Empty way has been made of metal. Looks pretty solid. It can probably stand a lot. Maybe. Let's see if there's anything on the bookshelves. Books have served me well, but I'm not looking for a book this time, I think. Probably the same thing here. They've already served me well. Books seem to have changed. But I haven't got time to read now. Maybe later. Let's take a picture of the bookshelf. Okay, can we take a picture of him now? We don't get the camera. We saw something else show up here. Uh, yeah, there we go. Can I take a picture? Yeah, he needs to. GTFO. Um, empty painting. Anything I'm interested in that one? Almost all the paintings are empty. Okay. Now I can't really take a portrait of Seligman now, can I? Okay. Can I just take the thing off. Port of Professor Seligman is only loosely attached. I should take it with me. I think I know what I have to do with it. Hey! Peter! You can smash this thing if you want to. Is that the one you want to mess up? You ripped out the portrait through to the ground and jumped around on it. Seems to feel much better now. Hey, Peter. Could you take a step to the side? The Black and Tumbuck's favorite spots. He's staring at the paintings with a crazy look. I think their emptiness reminds him of his own object. Okay, we've had this. Um, do we smash him, let him smash the other ones too? Most of them paintings think he wanted to depict purity. He's supposed to express benevolence. Sounds of perfection. Can we take this thing with us? He doesn't vanish when I photograph it. Simon's portrait is making me sick. He looks like a saint with red eyes, apparently. Not really that saint worthy, but alright. Um, anything else? We don't have too much to work with. So this shouldn't be too hard to figure out. Okay, we just take a picture of it then and give him that to smash up too. He doesn't vanish, it's different here. He doesn't empty, is it that? Staring at the paintings with a crazed look. So do the empty ones disappear? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay. That's perfectly normal. Did I redeem him? I don't know, did you? Take a picture of Tomoko's favorite spots. I hope that will do something. 
Oh, and it's in color here. Hm. Odd. Oh. I'm back. Here you are, Tomoko. It's your favorite spot. Without selling one's low life students, you feel better now. Something change over there. Probably, yeah. Who's hiding behind the eyes this time? Seligman. I haven't really met too many other persons. Nailed it. Seligman. Where really, I want to take a picture of Seligman. <laughs> Why would you? Professor, you want to take revenge on me? Doesn't seem so. But expression is demanding. Oh my god, it disgusts me. What do you want? You want to bring me you something too? Uh, the painting I smashed in your face, probably. I think I'm going to do you this favor after everything you did to me. Paintbrush? What am I supposed to do with a paintbrush? You want me to paint another painting? Forget it. Back home now? No, we're... I'm not here yet again. What does Professor Seligman want? What am I supposed to do for him? Students, they're lined up along the wall. What does that mean? Is the painting still here? Yeah, it is. Can we paint over it with a paintbrush? Let's try Seligman's paintbrush. Maybe I can use it to change this greasy painting. Seligman's changing to something else. Something fiendish. That doesn't surprise me. Rainbow seems to have the ability to uncover the truth. Wow. Part of segment has vanished. Calf's completely empty now, which means we can use a picture to get rid of it. But let's talk to some students first if there's anything to be done here, of course. Hello. It's me. Cat Sandy's guy, arrogant guys. Way the idolized Seligman makes me sick. You can paint over your pure painting. Hmm? Why should I change the painting? Is there a reason for that? Probably. Anyway, let's get out of here. Take a picture of this canvas. It should theoretically poof. Oh, we're going to his office now. Huh? The path is struck. Path is path is clear. Is there a guillotine in there? Reception room. No happy memories. Yep. Guillotine. Whoa. Okay. This. Mid between. Cigarette still glowing. As if it had only been lit a short while ago. Mr. Secretary, what happened to you? Um. An accident. He was going to cut an apple in a fancy way, and apparently he got his head stuck in there. Gitin is close to decapitating her. How? Oh, close, so it's not too late. I can't free her. Gitin is moving one bit. I think it's better if you don't talk about it. I don't want to paint this. Can you take a picture of it? Take a picture of a secure secretary in deadly peril. Yes. It's proof or something. Who should I show this to? I don't know. It's crazy the door to Seligman's office is blazing hot. By it is an incredible heat. This can only mean one thing. Seligman. A fire that's going to consume everything in this vicinity. I have to warn everybody. Was it was was it Professor Seligman who did this to you? Can't move the guillotine one bit. Oh, we could probably use the students. Quick, let's scram. Seligman is dangerous. He seems to despise me. He asks how an artist who is benevolent as Professor Seligman could possibly be dangerous. Benevolent. I have to show him the truth. 
Now can I take a picture of the uh, guillotine? Take a picture of second little peril as proof or something. Who should I show this to the students? Okay, how about a picture of a fiery door? Do I take a picture without a reason? Ugh. I don't even need the paintbrush to know what truth hides behind the painting. This okay, can you take a camera of it? Though I'll take a picture without a reason. So you want to show off he's evil, but a secretary stuck in a guillotine is not a thing like that. Okay. Literally the door to hell. I have to warn everybody about Professor Seligman. Okay. What else is interactable? Can we paintbrush the fiery door? No. Seligman is dangerous. What? I can't believe it. She says Seligman wouldn't hurt a fly. If only she knew. I find a way to prove this to her how dangerous Seligman is. How can I accomplish that? <coughs> We're in danger to leave this place. She doesn't seem to believe me. She seems to prefer Seligman's works of art to revere. No, she's idolizing the perfection of his paintings. I can't believe it. Does she see the truth behind his pictures? Oh. Go, leave this place. Seligman is danger to you. Doesn't seem to believe me. Seems to be my pretty of someone's painting. Purely if only he knew. I'm sure of the truth. Alright, can we now? Purely, eh? I will the truth nature of this painting. Done. Now it shows what Seligman really means by purity. Does it have any effect? Okay, so that's not it. But we have a painting now. What could we possibly do with that? Maybe you have to do the other ones as well. But other ones don't make me laugh. I'm going to show the painting's true face. That is Sullivan's true notion of benevolence. Now it's kind of perfect Seligman's paintings are. The students are still here. Quick, let's scram. Seligman's dangerous. Seems to despise me. Benevolent. Here. Behold Seligman's true face. Does the painting still look benevolent to you? Now I say from Seligman. Oh, I think something just happened to her reception room. I'm going to guess the guillotine moved up a bit. Yep. The blade moved upwards a little. I have to warn the other students. 
The problem is we do not have enough paintings for everyone. That was dangerous. Let's just want her to fly. If all she knew. Don't leave me. Silence of fear. Perfection. Build the truth behind the painting. Does that look perfect to you? Save from Seligman. Yeah, 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 yeah. Leaf. Uh, she's saying. Big fan. I was saying with the book, she wouldn't have a reason to be here anymore. Are these his books? There was something wrong with the right bookshelf, wasn't there? Something different. I can reach the bookshelf now. Books are different than before. They are all empty. Only one has content. Textbook of Seligman. I should take it. But I'm definitely not going to read this trash. Got it. Heavy, you don't want to drag it around for too long, so just give it to her. She wants it. Can't give Seligman's book to her just like that. So I have to protect her from the book and Seligman's insanity. The book has to be destroyed. Probably set it on fire. They could burn the book in the fire in Seligman's office. What? The book doesn't even react to the fire in Seligman's office. I have to find another way to destroy it. Burning cigarette? It's dangerous to burn a book here. The whole building could burn down. Well, it's not. You have a metal waste bin right there. Put it in there. Just, just put it, put it. There you go. Throw the book into the waste bin. Is that enough? Let's see what the student has to say. Probably not, but we're gonna have to talk to her, I assume. To get to the. I look particularly impressed after so destroyed a book. Called it. Alright, let's get that cigarette. Put it all on fire! Nope. Well, just take it with you then. Alright. There's one more dude left. Maybe he's gonna leave a lighter or something behind. I don't know. Hey, 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 here. Look at this. The painting's true nature. Does it look pure to you? You vanished. Now you're safe from selling, woman. You should go to the reception room. Ah. Blade moved upwards a little left to warn the other students. Why would I go to the reception room? The fire got weaker, I have to warn the others about selling one as well. Alright. Click that out of the window, don't do that. Waste bin with selling one's textbook. Alright, so what are you again? What's your beef? I believe Slagman is dangerous. Well, I can't believe it. She says Slagman wouldn't hurt a fly. If only she knew. To find a way to show us how dangerous Slagman is. Alright, so I'm thinking I should really just take a picture of the guillotine. But picture of secretary pattern. Of course, this has to be proof enough for famous to thank you. Finally, jeez. All right, and then there's a one. Left. Here. Enough proof. Professor Slugman is in danger to everyone in this vicinity. I don't even want to know what the secretary had to go through. Things should be safe now. Almost got it. Should go to the reception again. There's nothing there unless. Blade is almost at the top. I really have the feeling that... Can we go into the fiery door already? Fire's almost gone. Take a picture of the cigarettes. No, 
I'll take a picture of a reason to paint it. Go to paint this. Besides that, we don't really have too many sources of fire now, do we? It's lying in a metal waste bin. Did I see an object somewhere that I could use to destroy a book? Oh, like what? A burning cigarette? <laughs> That's kind of annoying, isn't it? I mean, we've been going at this idea for a while now, and... It worked. See where I lit the book in the waste bin. Alright, got a present for ya. That's right, treatment for Seligman's work. Now you're safe from this book and its contents. Alright, that's everyone. That was the last student. Am I finished? I should go to the reception room. Yes, and that's gonna be for next episode. Haha! <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. I hope you're still doing this here. free. Show support by commenting, liking, and or something if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys all in the next episode. Bye, everyone.